Hey guys, we're back. How you doing today? Uh, I just want to talk a little bit about actually using an older server for or repurposing it and about my recommendations on things like operating systems and such. Now, in a little earlier video, I talked about getting all the information and getting things like the driver disks and all that, make sure you have all that stuff. Because as the older the hardware gets, especially server hardware, it's never easy, but the older it gets, the harder it's gonna to be to find supporting software, documentation, stuff like that. So get everything you can when you buy a new server. Or not a new, well, you're gonna want a new server. When you get one of these older servers. And here's my first suggestion. Especially for a server that was originally made, especially early, late 90s, early 2000s, I would go ahead and actually get myself a copy of Server 2003. Now, here's the thing about Server 2003. Yes, it's technically XP, which is a good and a bad thing, but it's up to date enough to see most of your newer hardware and this is a plug and play operating system so it makes it a lot easier and a lot of the server stuff well that's the low at least as of this recording date server 2003 is the oldest level of hardware support that you'll get for most hardware and most most server based operating uh applications and environments um, the other thing, and if you can get server 2003, say R2 or 64, that's great. This is server 2003 32-bit because even though this thing has dual processors, dual Pentium 3s, they're 32-bit processors. I can't run a 64-bit OS on this machine. So that's another consideration. I have a limitation there. I can't do anything 64-bit. But the kind of use I'm thinking about doing with this I'm not planning on it. I also have a limitation on this hardware of two gigabytes of memory. Those kind of things are what are you going to get with older hardware? You just kind of accept it. But you also have to remember that in its day, that was a lot. And if you stay in the scope, pretty much the scope of what was usable and what you were going to be doing with it back in quote unquote the day, this is more than more power than anybody could have dreamed of back then. I mean, you know, a, a server that I basically bought for 50 bucks, this thing was about six, seven thousand dollars new. And that when we're talking 1999 money in today's money, that's more like 20. So that's a lot of money. So it had to be able to do something well back then for that kind of money. And it's still usable now. Now, ultimately, I'll be honest with you, this is the IT mostly channel. So this is IT based folks. IT focused subjects, but my plan is to basically repurpose this thing into kind of a retro ultimate gaming machine. And to that end, I've got new hardware planned and stuff like that, that this board allows me to do just enough upgrades to make it usable. Two gig of RAM is, is more than, you know, anyone should need. Dual processors, I mean, I should be able to run pretty much any game up to about the year 2000 probably 2002 without a problem on this uh, but it's going to take some upgrades and i've already to some extent upgraded i put all the best hardware i had from four other servers like this in this box so that it's maxed out on ram and that's ecc ram it's got dual processors um no hyper threading that didn't exist back in the penny in three days but the nice thing is with server 03 getting back to the os and I mean, I'm sure there's Linux distros too, but then again, you have the whole issue of, wow, how do I do the RAID controller functions? You'll have to be booting up with a disk to control your RAID because you're not going to have any support for that within Linux. I already know that the hard way. But I would say Server 03 for hardware of this vintage, we're talking 99 to about 2004, is probably the best OS because as you see, it's finding things. It can, It's new enough to find newer hardware, okay? I mean... It's fine. I mean, that's yeah, PS2 compatible, but it works because it uses, yeah, it gives you a PS2 mouse. It's using a PS2 keyboard. Yeah, I could put a USB, but the PS2 stuff just works better. Uh, it's not going to read the EDID of monitors, anything like that. Let's see. It does know it has a Pentium 3. It does know what kind of RAID adapters it has. Um, let's see. 
Yeah, there's nothing audio in there. There shouldn't be any audio. But it's just, it's new enough to be able to be not quite a problem. In fact, it's so new that I didn't even have to load the server RAID controller to install the OS because Server 03 already had a driver that worked with this hardware, which is, that's a nice thing. But you still need, you know, uh, the, the, the actual factory disk or a copy of it to actually do something with a, with a RAID array. Um, but anyway, let me give you some lo a look here. And actually inside install CPU ID. And, you know, the thing is, CPU ID really was never meant for this level of OS, but it works. And you see, this is a Pentium 3E, copper mine CPU, slot one. And you see, I think this is a 180 nanometer process, so it's a pretty big pro CPU. Uh, you've got two processors, one and two, both the same, 700 megahertz, 100 megahertz bus speed. This stuff sounds terrible in today's terminology, but this was the stuff back then. And there you go, you've got the cache specs see the board i mean the 55000 chipset server works and there's the board you see there's the date of the bios 2001 there's the memory serial presence will never work graphics s3 trio 64 v2 you see why we're going to be doing an upgrade so basically this is the kind of hardware you're going to get and this hardware is 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 blending beautifully with this server 2003 now, the downsides of using an older OS like this is there is no security patches, no support, so I wouldn't put this thing anywhere near the internet. Um, you're not going to get a lot of updates. There's a lot of stuff that the software that, you know, is made for 64-bit now, that's a normal thing, is just plain not going to run on this. So, some considerations there. But as far as my recommendation, we're going to be using Server 03 and doing some things with it. And um, the fact that I have supporting software that, that works with this works real well. Now, you know, you could do Linux or that if you wanted to. But again, remember, you've got to be able to set stuff up and, and access stuff like RAID controllers and that that your Linux distro may not be able to deal with. You know, servers are a little bit different animal. They're not quite like a PC, even though they are. They're, they're a PC on steroids, but they do things a little differently. And in a future video, I'll actually show you one of the boards, the actual board, um, because I have another server I gotta take apart and uh, it has the same board as this. I'll just show you how different it is. Anyway, that's all we're gonna talk about on this today. So we'll see you. Thanks for stopping by.